Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. Please like, share and subscribe the channel. If you need a data for your research, I will provide customized data as per your research requirements. Contact me through email or WhatsApp. This video is part 6 where we are going to discuss about measurement of the goodness of model fit. We are going to evaluate model fit using various fit indices in AMOS and we are going to interpret goodness of fit statistics in the context of model evaluation. First we will see what is model fit. In structure equation modeling, goodness of fit refers to the extent to which a hypothesized model fits the observed data. We'll have a data for research and we are going to develop a model. Now we are going to understand how far this model fits to the observed data. This is called goodness of fit. See obviously the model should fit to the data, right? If it is fitting, that is called goodness of fit. It's like a health check for the model. We are trying to understand how far this model is going to fit for the observed data. In structure equation modeling, there are three main types of goodness of fit indices. Number one, absolute fit indices. Second one is incremental fit indices. Third one is parsimony fit indices. The first one is absolute fit indices. It measures how well the model fits the data without reference to any other model. Means when you are trying to understand how far this model is fitting, we are not going to take any other model as a reference. We are not going to take any model as a reference. This is called absolute fit indices. Now to understand this absolute fit indices, mainly we are going to use two type of indices. One is goodness of fit in index. Okay, This index assess the proportion of variance in the observed data that is explained by the model. And the second one is a root mean square error approximation. This index measures the discrepancy between the observed and the fitted covariance matrices. So these two index will help us to understand about the absolute fit indices. The second type of uh, indices is incremental fit indices. This index compares the fit of the hypothesized model to the fit of a baseline model. What is a baseline model? A baseline model is typically a model that assumes that all of the variables are independent okay so this is called as a baseline model it's going to take a reference with a baseline model and it compares how far is this model better than the baseline model for this purpose we have two index one is compared to fit index this index is a measure of the improvement in fit over the baseline model. The second one is normed fit index. This index is similar to CFI but it is scaled to take into account the number of parameters in the model. So for incremental fit indices we have CFI and NFI. We can cons consider CFI always better than NFI. And the third type of fit uh, indices is parsimony fit index. It penalizes the model for its complexity. These indices are designed to favor simpler models over more complex models. Generally, we don't use these indices in the analysis. We are going to use the absolute fit indices and incremental only. Parsimony generally we don't use. But there are two indices uh, for this to understand. The one is um, Akai key information criteria. The other one is Basin information criteria. Now let us see some guidelines for interpreting goodness of fit in SEM. The first one is GFI. This GFI value must be more than 
okay uh, then we consider it as to be a good fit next one is cf5 this value must be more than greater than 0.9 and the third one is cmin by df this is called as chi square value divided by degree of freedom it is a minimum discrepancy this minimum discrepancy value must be less than 5 if it is less than 5 it is considered as good less than 3 is considered as excellent and the fourth one is rmsea this value must be less than 0 0.08 this value must be less than 0 0.08 if you see the first two should be greater than gfi should be greater than 0 0.9 cfi must be more than 0 0.9 and this minimum discrepancy value must be less than 5. If it is less than 3, it's very good. RMSEA must be less than 0 0.08. Some researcher says it must be less than 0 0.05. If it is less than 0 0.05, it is excellent. But generally, if it is less than 0 0.08, it's okay. We can consider it as good fit. Now what we will do is, I will show an example, we will do the analysis and we will go through the different model fits and discuss where that model is fit or not. This is a model which we have already used in part 5. The same model, CFA model, we, what we will do is, we will do the analysis and let us see the model fit and discuss about the different values. For doing analysis, select this button calculate estimate and click this button which is called as view the output path diagram now we are in the view output diagram click view text we are in the output screen in this output screen select model fit this need to be selected model fit once we select this model fit we are in the output screen we already said four important indices must be seen in that the first one is cmin by df this is called minimum discrepancy if this value is less than five it is considered to be good fit now it is even less than three also so it is excellent if it is less than five it is considered to be good the value we got here is 1.728 so we can consider the goodness of fit of the model this is the first indices coming to the next indices gf5 okay this gf5 value must be greater than 0.9 we got 0.969 so this is also considered to be a good fit third important indices is cf5 cf5 value must be greater than 0 0.9 we got 0 0.986 so this is also good fit and the fourth and important one is rmsea this value must be less than 0 0.08 here we got 0 0.043 which is less than 0 0.08 so considering all these four indices indexes we can say that the model is perfectly good if in case we are not getting the required model fits then what to do we need to do modification indices okay then we need to check the other parameter how to modify the model this we will discuss in the next video